Hi, are you? It's Travson here, and welcome back to our adventures in Azeroth. Last episode, we went to the Shadow Tomb, and we retrieved some scrolls, and we also saved a prisoner by the name of Akuno. That guy can really shoot chain lightnings. He was, like, one-shotting many of the enemies we fought going outside of the tomb. Today, we're going back to the regular spot that we usually go to, and that is the Bone Wastes. I think we will be done there soon. Alright, so let's go. It's trying to think about where we will quest next. You're almost level 56, which is good. And there's a dungeon that I want to do soon, which is another dungeon inside of uh, Akadun, which is the Akanai Crypts. So I'll make sure we check that out next. And then there's some more questing zones down here to the south. Probably check those out. And then I think we'll probably make our way to Nagrand after that. And by then we should be close to level 67. Alright, so here we are at the refugee camp. I came to this land to cleanse troubled spirits, but after the attack, I fear my mission has failed. So many have been taken by the wastes. Please, you must help them. Alright, so let's check out the Tomb of Lights. To the east, buried under the charred sand, is the Tomb of Lights, a lost resting place of the dead. Before our caravan was ambushed, I was going to journey to the tomb and cleanse it of evil spirits. Little did I know, uh, it was already infested with another kind of evil. Even now, the ethereals plunder the bodies of the fallen for trinkets and keepsakes that were given to the dead centuries ago. There is little I can do while our caravan struggles to survive. Alright, so looks like we have to go fight the ethereals today. So we'll go do that. It seems that they just want the, the money, the loot from these, uh, these spirits. It's funny how the Ethereals are kind of like the goblins, but for uh, Draenor. They're like the, the goblins of Draenor. Or I should say Outland. Oh, there's Trechella. I wonder if there's a quest for Trichella. I think we already did it. Alright, so this is where all these ethereals are. This looks like some ethereal methromancer corpses. I wonder if we can go down inside here. Oh, it looks like we got a mage over there. Or is it a boomkin? Oh, they're got like a level 70 farm in these. I wonder why they're doing that. Alright, so it looks like we're going into the tomb, guys. I don't think I'm going to be able to fight a level 70 druid and mage at the same time. So we'll check out this tomb. This could be tough. I knew we were going to pull pull two there. Oh man, I hope this guy doesn't attack me, dude. I'm gonna get wrecked. This isn't good. Do a little bandage. I hope these guys don't kill me. They're gonna kill me 100%. No, they didn't. It's kind of them. These people don't have time to kill level, low levels like me. We should be okay against this Nether Mancer. Seems to be out of mana. We didn't die there, so I was good. Mana pot. 
It looks like these guys just go in every single room and just wreck everything. I wonder what they're trying to farm for. Maybe mana pots? I don't know. Maybe we'll see an interesting drop to refight one of these things. So we'll go for the, the Nethermancer first. They seem to do a lot of damage. Put a bleed up on this guy and then heal. This guy finally found us. This is the Arcanist. Where did these guys drop. This quest might be hard for me to do because these Alliance players are just farming the crap out of this place. I'm lucky that they're letting me uh, also, I guess, farm here for a bit. <laughs> I wonder how much gold they make doing this. I haven't got anything really that great yet. Okay, there's a couple in the back they left for me, so that's nice. I think we'll go for the one that's uh, doing a little bit of mining here. Yeah, I don't know if you guys have noticed, but um, I've been having trouble with uh, my HD rendering on YouTube lately. It seems like I <clears throat> I need to get my videos up much earlier because it supposedly it takes like it seems like it's taking more than a day for it to get to uh, 4K quality or for the process up to 4K quality. So I'm going I'm going to need to get ahead with my uh, my uploads. Which I kind of don't like doing because I like to keep the videos relevant with what's going on at the time in, in WoW. But I think if, I, if I'm only like three days ahead, it shouldn't be that bad. Because I've noticed that the, re that the processing for HD just takes so long now. I don't know if it's because there's a lot of people on YouTube, like, uploading videos and stuff like that. And I also think it's probably because I, uh... I'm trying to upload in 4K, so that, that obviously takes longer. It's, like, the highest, uh, HD version that you can upload at, so I understand why it takes a while. Because my recent Paladin video... It was really, it was only at 360p, it took, and I, it was rendering, uh, or processing the HD, I should say, for like over eight hours, and it didn't even get to 1080p in eight hours, so. It shows me that I need a couple days leeway for it to, uh, process the HD version that I want to release at. The videos will be... A little bit ahead of schedule from now on. Like I won't be uh, doing the video a day before like I usually do. I think that's all right. I may be a little bit behind on the news, but something that's new to me may not be very new to the viewer, but it's whatever.
Death reels are pretty damn strong. Looks like out here is mostly plunders. Seems like all of the nether mancers are. There's one right there. I wonder what that mage and druid are doing down there. Guess we'll go check it out once we're done the quest. I haven't really got anything special from them, like these guys, so. It makes me wonder. Oh, here's another Nethromancer here. I've liked the Bowen Ways so far, though. I like the music here. It's got really good music. Reminds me of, like, Golden Eye and Perfect Dark. Can't wait till we get to the Grand, though. It's my favorite zone in all of uh, Outland. It looks really good in uh, Warlords of Draenor. It'd be fun to do a Warlords of Draenor playthrough eventually. I wonder if they'll take Classic WoW all the way to Warlords. I have a feeling they'll probably release a, a Classic Cataclysm eventually. And then maybe even a classic Mist of Pandaria. That'd be pretty wild. That'll be a long ways away. It seems like they release a new one every... Every two years. So we'll probably see Wrath... In 2023. And then we'll see... Um, Cataclysm in 2025, Mr. Pandaria in 2027, and then we'll see Wad in 2029, maybe. I wonder if people will get Sega Classic, or will there always be a community for it? I think Classic WoW will always have a community, like the first iteration of WoW, but I think these expansions like TBC... And maybe, I don't know, maybe Wrath and TBC will have a, like a community that keeps playing it. But I think after that, Cataclysm and like Mr. Pandaria may have a rough time. But there's a lot of WoW fans out there. Nice, we had a BOE. It's actually a BOE that's not bad for us. Let's check it out. Yeah, it's not better than what we have. It's just a two-handed staff. Yeah, our, uh, ours is much better. But, yeah, we'll put that up on the auction house and make a little bit of gold for sure from that. So it works level 67. I wonder if he'll come down here and fight these, uh, these level 70 alliance with me. I wonder where they went. So we need two more nether mancers and we'll be done. So I'll hit this guy a little bit. A little tap. I'm gonna find out where they went. I thought they were like in that last room. Looks like they like let everything spawn. The hunter is pulling a lot of stuff. All right. Okay, now we're uh, going to uh, go to the last room here. Oh, there they are. They're running out. They literally pulled everything. if there's any plunderers in here. Everything's going to be running back to me soon, so I gotta watch out.
I wonder where that hunter went. I wonder if he went to go fight them. I'll drag this plunder outside. I think they pulled everything out to kill it. There must be like a rare BOE that you get from this or something like that. Looks like they're getting out of here. Had enough of the ethereals. It would be cool if the ethereals actually dropped really good loot. Because they do, uh, you know, search for it. Right, there we go, so we're finished that. So let's head back. And go see what's going on in here, actually. Didn't really check out the final room. Let's go check it out. Might as well while it's all open. There's like a final boss. It's just a bunch of arcanists, really. No chest or anything. Unless they killed the elite that may be here. There's an elite in the other tomb that we went to. Oh, there's the hunter. Guess we'll give him some buffs. Can I buff him? Does he already... He already has. Great. Guess we'll give him... Uh, give him that then. Gave him some thorns. He has Gift of the Wild, and that's a good reminder, because I need to get Gift of the Wild for the next time we do uh, Auconite Crypts, so I can get the a better version of Mark of the Wild to my group members. Alright, so here we go. Back to the Bone Wastes. We'll turn this in. It looks like the Spirit Towers are up. We got a little XP for that, which is not too bad. I mean, it'd be so cool if you could have this as a mount. This thing's huge. Yeah, there's it makes me think that this is like a one like one person's account almost. I don't know. The way they follow each other around. Tomb of Lights. Out here in the wilds of Outland, we are weak with few heroes to defend our rights. But you have given them something to fear, Druid. I do not think the Ethereals will soon forget the strong right arm of Flag Carrier. That's right. Alright, so let's uh I guess we'll hurt back. And my bags are getting quite full, so we may be going to Ogremar quite soon. Got a BOE today, which is nice. I have one of a kind items. One of a kind, you say? Got a sleep potion. Peon sleep potion. Strong alcoholic beverage. Farewell. Let's try that. Never heard of this beverage. It gets you a little pretty tipsy. I love how they have a timer on uh, on the drinks. You should do that in real life. You have like a timer on the next drink. Some people just chug, 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 and chug, you know? It's not a good thing to do. But that is the end of today's episode, guys. As always, thanks for watching. Keep your heads up. Later.